All right, so to add a couple things, you know, the main thing is we gotta get a stronger grip, not a weak grip, because that's an open face, uh, high spinner to the right. So stronger grip, getting the lead hand V center of the body, trail hand V more trail shoulder. Uh, second thing is getting your shoulders square to your feet. So not open, want the shoulders to be square to the feet. So put a club across your shoulders, make sure they're square to your feet or an alignment rod that you have down on the ground. And then the last thing is, you know, your backswing is a lot of rotation without any hand hinge until if there is any, it's very, very late. And so you can actually do the opposite of that, which makes golf a lot simpler, especially when you're talking about short game, because you do not want to be like rotating and not creating any, any wrist tension in short game. Um, you know, you got to have it and you got to have it in the full swing. But like what I like to feel is, I like to feel like the wrist hinge kind of up like this and as I'm taking it back, letting the right arm fold and the, and the hands hinge. And that, that's basically as far back as I feel like my backswing goes. Whenever I actually swing, it goes a little bit further than that, but I'm always practicing like this move right here. Cause if my grip's good and my shoulders are aligned, and I just rotate a little bit and fold and hinge, the club's perfectly on plane and the face is square. And if that club just comes down from that angle and then releases naturally, um, you'll have a perfectly on plane swing. So it's pretty simple.